Hey everybody, this is Greg Ricks again from BassFuzz.com. Here a little show and tell uh, movie about the bass metaphors from Electro Harmonics. Now this is a channel strip uh, effect, kind of uh, a one size fits all, this is all you need kind of thing. Um, I'm actually using it today instead of my radial direct box as well, so all the signal recording is coming directly from the bass metaphors. Uh, this pedal allows for a separate EQ and some distortion and you can also do some compression into the into the circuit or not. Things that control the pedal here we've got uh, a dry uh, knob at the beginning which introduces as much dry signal as you want or don't want that won't be affected by the EQ the distortion. Um, the volume controls the overall output of the circuit. Um, this controls both uh, the DI out and the regular out, so you need to be a little careful with that. Uh, when when the circuits bypass the DI's full volume, so when it's bypassed, uh, the volumes at full volume, and when it's activated, the volumes at whatever volume there. So you just need to be a hair careful with that if you're using the DI. And then of course there is distortion, which is controlled by a separate selector switch over here, which is on even when the circuits not activated so you can tell that when you turn it on there will be distortion so um, and that of course is controlled by this knob right here there is also a uh, it says direct out over here this is a 100% uh, dry signal out of the circuit and if you don't want to it doesn't pass through the circuit at all um, the compressor is on or off um, there is no settings it is tuned to their own business Pedal takes only a uh, nine volt DC in uh, bus style. Uh, there's no battery options though. It's a little too beefy for that. It is a little bit larger than your average uh, EHX box. Let me see if I can find an example. Here's the Sanford and Sunny Bluebird Fuzz. Um, it's about the same size as a little big mug. So you'll see that the the base metaphors there is uh, not quite half again as wide, so it's a little larger. Let's uh, go through. This is the P base, P base with quality cables into the metaphors, the metaphors as the DI box into my mixer and into the Apple behind me, and that's pretty much all we got. Let's turn this bad boy on. on in the up mode. So I've got the dry signal at zero. I've got uh, the bass and the treble set at equal and uh, the uh, the EQ level set all the way up. Distortion's currently not activated and then the volume controls the overall volume. So um, I had some problems the first time trying to get seems like it, I mean, it just cuts volumes. Uh, I haven't found a good use for that. Why do you want to even turn it on if you don't want to use the EQ? Uh, dialing out the treble. all the way up, bass all the way down. I have no idea why you want to do that.
that's the basic part of the EQ circuit. Um, compression on or off. Oops. Sorry, clip the mixer. Control slight volume peaks. It seems to do that without really impacting the sound too much, which is good. Um, lastly, here in the circuit, the only thing we haven't talked about at all is the distortion. Um, you know, and that's where my love is anyway, right? The slightly angry, distorted sound to the universe. <laughs> much the bass metaphors i uh, just wanted to break it all down and show it off for you a little bit thanks to uh all my friends at talk bass and uh brad at tone factor for hooking me up with this to play with mm -hmm. 